<laughs> Welcome to another episode of Toby Stupid Vlog. Hi there. Happy Monday. Um, it's just about midday and I'm going to buy something to eat. Um, this morning I have been to drop off the car at Citygate Twickenham, which is a set dealership because the air conditioning is misbehaving and obviously, you know, it's the warmest <laughs> week of the year, so that's not ideal. And they've given me a Seat uh, Ibiza Sport as my courtesy car manual, which is interesting, primarily because I haven't driven a manual car since I was 18 years old and I'm now 41. So that's uh, been an interesting challenge to talk, <laughs> see if my feet remember what to do. Uh, changing gears of bike pain. I don't know why anyone does it. If I'm perfectly honest, there's really no need anymore, but um, it's much cheaper to make an engine, which is a manual. So that'll be why. Um, first gear is really flimsy in that car. So everything else is fine. But uh, yeah, that was quite an interesting experience to drive back about three or four miles round roundabouts along main roads down small roads a bit of everything really to try and work out how you drive a manual car turns out it's doable as you might imagine but certainly not something that's really ideal on a monday morning hey there happy thursday um so i'm going for a walk to my next job which is uh, episode five of the uh, Lawrence Delalio's Lions podcast. Um, so we recorded the last two in different pubs, um, which I think I showed you in the previous video very briefly. Um, I'm not going to film the whole podcast for you, obviously. It's online and it's free. So, you know, if you're that interested, go and watch it slash listen to it. Um, but yes, episode five of six, I should say. There's one more next week is in the Turk's Head in St Margaret's, which is quite reasonably close to here and reasonably close to Twickenham Stadium. So we're getting progressively closer to the home of rugby. Um, and yeah, it's a lovely day, so I thought we'll walk it. Good evening. Good evening, great to be back. It's great to be uh, on the podcast again. The only reason that I've come back for a second stint is to sample this wonderful Wonderful pints of food. <laughs> <laughs> also joining us this week from the. Hello, happy Friday. So, yesterday, as you show, saw a very, very brief snippet of, I was at the Turk's Head in uh, St Margaret's, East Twickenham, if you will, and uh, we were doing the Lawrence Delalio Lions podcast. Now, I'm. Um, the, I think it's an excellent episode and I think you should go and hunt it down on the Evening Standard YouTube page. Uh, but that's nothing to do with me, that's to do with the people who presented it. Um, now, let, let me just give you a bit of background to that particular episode. Now, Lawrence and Rob Henderson, uh, both former uh, Lions rugby players, quite well decorated ones, um, had been out this morning at a Lions lunch in central London for lots of former Lions players. I think there was 24, 25 of them. And, you know, these are big rugby lads and uh, they can drink. So they had been. And their estimate of how much they've had to drink there, plus the warm-up pints they'd had before the podcast, brought them to a sort of moderate estimate of having had around... 15 pints. Now, I know they're big lads and I know they can drink, but let me give you some context. I I happen to know that the most beer I've ever drunk in my life in one go was a night out in Nottingham and I had 14 pints. And I am quite slight and I certainly was then and I hadn't had almost anything to eat. And I can tell you that I was an absolute complete mess. Like, you know, I wasn't drinking strong beer by any, any stretch of the imagination. Pretty weak stuff. And I was an absolute shambles after that much alcohol. I couldn't talk, barely walk. 
um, and it was an absolute mess. Now, granted, these guys had eaten very well. They are substantially bulkier than me and they have been doing this their whole life and they're quite well practiced, but the most remarkable thing about that was how um, in control they were after that much beer. Uh, Rob was frankly lucid. I mean, like completely lucid. Um, I wouldn't want him to drive my car by any stretch, but in terms of having a conversation, uh, recalling details of times gone by, um, he was spot on. And Lawrence was a little tipsy. That's how I describe him, but that's it. Um, that's a remarkable ability to process alcohol. And um, I wouldn't say I'm envious, but I certainly am in awe. Hello there, happy Friday. Yes, it's Friday already. Um, this week I filmed almost nothing because um, Amelia has not been well. She was came down with a bug on Sunday night and we kind of knew that she wasn't gonna go into nursery on Monday and she didn't on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday. And yesterday, Thursday, there was the afternoon was probably the first time she started showing signs that she's feeling better. Today she's mostly better, she's got a bit of a dry cough and now I've got her cold. So, you know, that's the circle of life. Um, it's been quite a miserable week to be perfectly honest. Like, she's not, well, nobody's fun when they're ill, but like she's not, she's not been this ill really um, in her life. And so she really hasn't been able to cope with it in a way that, you know, you'd probably, you or I would, or, you know, it's um, it's been quite miserable. It's been unbelievably clingy and sobby and just sad. So, uh, yeah, a miserable week for everyone involved. Um, I did my sixth and final Lions podcast last night, and that was a bit touch and go as to whether Amelia was going to be well enough for me to leave her with Crystal. And she was. And so I managed to do you know, a day's work, kind of. Uh, but other than that, I've only done two hours work this week, which is very frustrating, uh, but there's nothing you can do really. So everything's rolled into next week, hooray. Anyway, it's a bit gray today, but we're going out because when in doubt, go out. And we're gonna see if there's a playground we can find.